I genuinely thought my WordPress site was fine until I got an email from my hosting provider saying it had been used to send spam. I'd been hacked. And because I didn't have a backup, I lost everything. But here's the wild part. I could have stopped the hack with one free plugin. I could have logged in and changed one simple setting. And the biggest mistake, I didn't even know my site was vulnerable. This was one of my first WordPress sites a while back. I just launched it, I had a basic theme, a few plugins, some content, nothing fancy. Then one day I got up, I had a coffee, checked my phone, and I got an email from my hosting provider saying that my site was acting weird, sending spam, showing signs of malware. I logged in, but there were admin users I didn't create, code I didn't write, and files I didn't recognize. Hackers had planted malware, created a backdoor, and started using my site as their playground. I had no backup. I couldn't undo anything, so I had to delete the whole site and rebuild from scratch. That was the moment I realized something. Fixing a hack site is hard, but preventing it, that's actually simple. I just didn't know what steps to take or when to take them. So let me show you the five things I wish I'd done from day one so you don't end up where I did. And the best part, most of them are free and take less than five minutes to set up. Okay, number one, install a backup plugin. For this, use the duplicator plugin. Install it through your dashboard and you'll be able to set it to backup. You can save your backup copies to your computer or upgrade to save to the cloud like Google Drive, Dropbox and more. The best part is, if anything on your site breaks, you can restore your site in minutes. Not having a backup was one of my biggest mistakes and biggest regret. With one click, I could have saved everything and saved myself a lot of time and stress. The second thing I wish I'd done is add basic security protection. So for this, install the security plugin Security through your dashboard. And this tool automatically scans your site for malware, blocks suspicious logins, and monitors changes to your files. Most features are free and take less than five minutes to set up. If I had used this security plugin, I would have caught the hack early and been able to take action sooner. The fact was, I didn't actually know how long the hackers had been in my site. The third thing I wish I'd done is use two-factor authentication. This adds a second step to logging in like a code sent to your phone or using an authenticator app. You may recognize this for logging into some of your other accounts you might have. So install WP2FA for this through your dashboard. Then connect it to Google Authenticator on your phone and that's it. Even if someone figures out your password, they can't log in. Number four is use strong passwords and better usernames. Now, this may seem obvious, but don't use admin as your username. Also, don't use weak passwords like admin123 or welcome. They're just gonna to be too easy to guess. WordPress does have a built-in strong password generator, but for extra security, use a password manager like 1Password to create and store long, strong passwords. All you need to do then is remember 1Password to access your accounts. Number five is clean up unused plugins and themes. Now the way that hackers often get into your site is through old or unused plugins and themes. As a general rule, if you're not using a plugin or theme, delete it and update all plugins, themes and WordPress itself regularly. Okay, so I've got a couple of bonus tips as well. All WordPress sites have the same default login page and you can change your login URL with a plugin like WPS Hide Login. This makes it harder for hackers, bots, or programs to find your login page and start an attack. You can also set up alerts for login attempts. Security does this and will email you when someone logs in. Finally, consider using a staging site for testing new plugins or changes. This gives you extra protection. Many hosting providers offer this for free. Okay, that's it. With these steps, your site will be safer and you won't end up like I did. So if this video helped, do one thing right now. Install the Duplicator Backup plugin. Just that step gives you a safety net. Then set up security when you have 10 more minutes. Make sure you like this video if it helped. Subscribe for more WordPress videos like this and drop a comment if you've got any questions below. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner and I'll see you in the next video.